Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Engines of North America video. Today, we'll be talking about the engine that started the U-Boats. Not that kind of U-Boat, the war's been over for years now. Today, we will be discussing the U-25B. In 1953, General Electric ended its partnership with Alco. Upon termination of said partnership, General Electric increased production at its Erie, Pennsylvania facility to create its own road switcher. A completely new design was created, and testing began with an unclassified ABBA testbed with some resemblance to the EMD F unit. Testing of this new design began on the Erie Railroad, and the units were even painted in Erie colors. Eventually, the prototype would be sent back to General Electric, and the horsepower was increased from 1200 to 2000. The engines released would be known as UD-18s and would eventually give way to the U-25B. Prototypes would be released in the late spring of 1959 and the horsepower would be increased yet again from 2400 to 2500 and would officially be reclassified as a U-25B. The U in U-25B stood for GE's Universal Series. The 25 meant each unit had 2500 horsepower and the B meant the unit ran on a B-B wheelbase. Each unit came built with a General Electric FDL-16 engine and four General Electric 752 traction motors. They had a top speed of 70 miles per hour, a starting tractive effort of 75,000 pounds, and a continuous tractive effort of 64,000 pounds. Each unit weighed in at 252,000 pounds, and for the horn, each unit came built with a Leslie 3 chime, specifically a Leslie S3LR. A total of 14 North American railroads ran the U25B. These include, but are not limited to, the Rock Island, Wabash, and the Chesapeake and Ohio. The railroad with the most U25Bs was the New York Central with a total of 70. After the New York Central, the Southern Pacific had the second largest fleet of U25Bs with a total of 68. The Pennsylvania Railroad had the third largest fleet with a total of 59. Some railroads, such as Union Pacific, would order high hood versions of the U-25B. Into the late 60s and 70s, railroads such as Conrail would inherit their U-25Bs from previous systems. By the end of the U-25B's production run, it was clear that despite the modest success of the locomotive, General Electric was going to be a major player in the diesel-electric market. Successor Universal Series models would be strong sellers and would go on to knock Alco down to third place. By the end of the 60s, Alco would be put out of business. Some had reliability issues. It did little to harm General Electric's ascendancy. To this day, EMD and GE are the chief North American locomotive builders. Today, there are seven preserved U25Bs. They include, but are not limited to, Conrail 2510 at the Great Northeastern Railroad Foundation in Glenmont, New York, though it is not in the best cosmetic shape, New Haven 2525 at the Railroad Museum of New England in Thomason, Connecticut, and Louisville and Nashville 1616 at the Southern Appalachia Railroad Museum in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe!